We started this week by exploring some of life's big questions that people ask. Now through the series, we're going to look into the truth of God's word as we answer some of these big questions. Today's question is, why am I here right now? The Bible says that we were born for a time such as this. The scripture says in Esther chapter 4, verse 14, And who knows, but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. Now this question may sound very bizarre, but in our human understanding, there may be no satisfactory answer. But the Bible is very clear. Existence in the world at a given point of time is not by chance or it's not by happenstance, but it is predestined and orchestrated by God, as it is highlighted in Ephesians 1 verse 4, for He chose us in Him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in His sight. The scripture that we took today was from Esther, and that's the example we, we will be taking today. She was a Jew who was divinely placed as the queen of Persia. Now, during her time, there was a decree issued that all the Jews would be killed. And her uncle, Mordecai, sends word to her and tells her, don't think you will escape, because if you are silent, deliverance will come from another place. But you and your family will perish. Yet who knows if you have come to power for a time such as this. Now, these words stir Esther's heart and she knew she had to leave her self-preserving mindset and take on what God had positioned for her, that is to save her people from total annihilation. Now, few of us will find ourselves in royal places or in positions, but we know that God has placed us here in a specific time in history, maybe in our families, in our ministry, in our country, for a specific reason. Ephesians 2.10 reiterates that we are God's design and each of us have specific tasks to do. Now, God orders the circumstances of our lives so that we can fulfill the kingdom assignment that He has for each of us. God places us in positions of influence or strategic locations with great purposes. The places we find ourselves in, whether it be at our work, or in church, or at our homes, is not really about us, but it is about Him. Our lives are not a mere coincidence, but it is a cooperating with God who ordains our placement. So today, when you are at work, or when you are at school, or when you are at home, don't doubt that you were divinely placed in that sphere of influence. You are there, by a divine appointment and have opportunities to bring His love to those around. Now, as you carry on your kingdom assignment, believe that you were positioned and you were placed here for a time such as this. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for keeping us here at a time such as this. We praise you because you have divinely placed us where we are to be an influence to those around. We pray, Lord, that we would use that influence, we would bear your love, we would show your love to those around us and thereby bring you glory and edify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.